hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is triple c and in today's video i'll be showing you guys how to make the perfect hip and board padding if this looks like something you'll be interested in learning let's go to the cutting table and for this skirt pattern if you want to watch the video of how i made it the link would be on this video but if you check my page you will see the the link to this um, skirt pattern and i didn't add any allowance to this skirt pattern it's just the normal waistline and the hip measurement i didn't ask any allowance no sewing allowance so from the waistline you just mark down your waist to hip measurement and on the hip line you mark your round hip measurement without any allowance then you mark down your dart this is basically how to get the skirt pattern but like i said the video is would the link i'll drop the link to the video so from the waistline you on the side seam you come down by one and a half inches and on the hip line you go in by five inches on the hip line from the sideline you go in by five inches then on the knee length you go up by two inches i think even if you're making a short skirt or a long skirt just use like it would be advisable you can try your options though to just use 18 inches for the length and get your pattern your hip and both padding pattern once you cut it out, then you can attach it to your lining and make even if it's a long skirt, whatever. So I'll go ahead now and connect all the points together. Remember I said we'll come down from the waist by one and a half inch. On the hip line, you go in by five inches from the side seam. And on the knee length, you come up by two inches. Rule, connect them with a curve line. So for the back, you come down from your waistline to your underbot measurement. Your waist under butt measurement, you mark it down. And for this video, I'm using 14 inches. Yours can be 13. You have to just check. But most of the measurements I've worked with is between 13 and 14. You mark that line down and label it as your under butt measurement. Like your under butt line. Really straight line across. Next, on the waistline, I'll be coming down by 1.5 inches. Then on the hip line, from your center back, on the hip line from the center back, you go in by 1 inch. On the center back, on the hip line. So on that butt line, you go in by 4 inches from the side seam. You go in by 4 inches. Then on the knee length, you come up by 2 inches. I hope this is clear. On the waistline, come down by 1.5 inches. On the hip line, you go in by 1 inch from the center back. And on the butt line, you come in by 4 inches. On the knee length, you go up by 2 inches. Then you go ahead now and connect each dot with a straight with a curve ruler. Connect everything together with a curve ruler. So you just use your hand to just smoothen it. And at that part, you just curve it in by probably half an inch. Just smoothing it in. So it will not have a sharp edge at the both side. And the board pattern is ready you go ahead and label it on the top side you label it up with an arrow pointing up so when you're joining you can differentiate guys don't forget to label this pattern next i'll go ahead and cut this pattern out and our board part board pad pattern is ready the next thing is to cut it on the foam i'm using a five inch wideness for the foam five inch you can use one inch one inch if you want but i'm using half an inch sorry half an inch and not five inch half an inch so you're cutting everything into two the first one you cut it into two the second one into two everything will be like times two and the next thing you're going to use your hair stay to wrap it use your hair stay to wrap it double it for my prefer I, I love to double it double it then give it a good press 
and the next we're going to take it to the sewing machine to just sew it round just like this i've already um used my hair on it then you just stitch it round stitch it round like two or three times and trim off the excess And the next thing I'm going to attach it together like this. Use an arrow to just indicate where you'll be attaching the front and the that is the hip and the butt part together. Now I'll be attaching this to my lining from the waistline. Remember, we went down by one and a half on the pattern paper. So on the lining, you come down by one and a half inches. Mark it down. Place your pad there and you start stitching it make sure you stitch along the center line and the center seam as in on the seam of the lining just follow what i'm doing on the side seam you attach it like this and towards the zip side that is where the butt pattern that is the bigger part that's where it will be facing just like this towards the zip side once you finish stitching it like this then you run a round stitch on it so it can lap on the lining run it a round stitch round the pad yeah i think i'll just call this our hip pad yeah let me give that name so i can start stop confusing us so you go ahead and stitch it round on the lining and remember, like I said, the bigger part will be towards the butt, while the smaller one is for the hip. And this is how it's looking, guys. After I finish sewing the parts together, this is how it's looking. Very neat. Make sure you attach it on the side seam. Arrange it where take your time, but always work with your iron. Give it a good press so that your side seam can be relaxed before you sew your board pad on it now i'm going to take it over and atta attach it to the ankara fabric and like i said for the ankara fabric the measurement for the hip i used was um i added half inch to the original hips of um because see from the when i was drafting it the hip is um 44 inches divided by four will give you 11 so i made it 11 and a half since i was using a half inch foam you can so if you're using one inch you can uh, make yours one inch extra but i just added half even without a half it would have still be a perfect fit so just try this out and see what works for you guys and you will just join the lining and the ankara fabric from the knee length join it together by half an inch attach your band and your zip and our skirt is ready if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe and kindly share this video guys and i'll see you guys in my next video and this is how one craft is looking this video wasn't actually doing justice to read trust me i hope you learned something from this video i'll see you guys next time bye